Hello and welcome to another tier list video. Today we are taking a look at cookies. Now I'm not looking at necessarily branded cookies like you know Oreos or Chips Ahoy. More so just looking at cookies that you know your mom might bake for you at home. Um, and I don't have every single variety of cookies on here because there's tons of them that I haven't tried but all the ones on this list I've given at least uh, a handful of tries. So starting us off we have the classic. This is the chocolate chip. I mean this is the most popular, most common cookie variety, and there's a pretty much a good reason. You know, it's probably the easiest one to make, I would say. It's pretty straightforward, and pretty much everybody likes chocolate chip cookies. Like, unless you don't like any cookies, usually you like chocolate chip cookies, and, you know, there's a good reason they're so popular. They're pretty good. Again, they're not the best cookie I've ever had. You know, they're not my favorite variety, but they are just always really good and it's pretty hard to do them wrong unless you like, you know, really overcook them. So chocolate chip, just a really solid choice all around. No, no complaints for me for that one. Gonna find itself up in the A tier. Up next we have M&M cookies, which I used to really like these a lot more when I was younger, but I don't really like them quite as much now. I definitely prefer just regular chocolate chip over M&Ms because I would say they're pretty similar because, you know, it's basically a chocolate chip cookie, but, you know, the chocolate is now surrounded by an M&M shell, which I'm not really a huge fan of, like, that M&M shell and that crunch in my cookie. Um, I just prefer a straightforward chocolate chip cookie. Again, it's still good. It's still pretty similar to a chocolate chip cookie, and if I can't have a chocolate chip cookie, but I can't have an M&M cookie, I'm definitely not going to say no. Um, but it's just not quite as good, but still find itself in the B tier. Up next we have Ginger Snap Cookies. Now these honestly are my favorite cookies. Um, I had them a lot growing up and I just absolutely love them. I've never made them myself, I have no idea how to make them, but I really should learn because Ginger Snap Cookies are just so so good and when they're done right, just, just delicious. Ginger Snap Cookies, definitely an S tier for me. Up next we have White Chocolate Macadamia, which is a cookie that I really didn't like when I was younger. I thought they just looked weird and they tasted weird but now that i've tried them again now that i'm a little bit older i really like them a lot actually and these are i would say one of my favorite cookies now that i have um not quite as good as ginger snap cookies but i really like white chocolate macadamia and if they're fresh and they're cooked well i mean it's it's really hard to beat so white chocolate macadamia gonna find itself up in the s tier as well up next we have peanut butter cookies, which, you know, if you've seen some of my other lists, you know that I absolutely love peanut butter. And peanut butter cookies are no different. Um, they're not like my favorite cookie, and considering how much I like peanut butter, you would think that I'm going to be putting these in an S tier. But they're not quite up there. They're still good, but they're not quite up there with those other cookies. But peanut butter cookie, still going to find itself in a solid A tier. This is one that peanut butter cookies, when they are fresh, they are so, so good. You know, if they're a bit older and, you know, maybe you, they've been sitting out for a while, they're still good. But right out of the oven, that's when peanut butter cookies really shine. Up next, we have sugar cookies, which are probably one of my least favorite cookies on this list. Um, they're just pretty straightforward, kind of plain, um, just kind of sugary, just really sweet cookies. And if you like that, that's great. But for me, I'm not really quite as big of a fan. Uh, so sugar cookies are going to find themselves down in the C tier. Up next we have oatmeal chocolate chip, which um, as some of you might know, I'm a big fan of oatmeal and I like chocolate chip cookies, so it's just a pretty good combination, you know, it's it's a good mix up if I'm not really feeling a chocolate chip, you know, oatmeal chocolate chip, it has some good variety, so for me, gonna find itself in the A tier as well. Up next we have oatmeal raisin, now raisins and I, we, we do not get along. I, I wish I liked raisins, it's weird, you know, I like grapes, but raisins are just so different that I don't like them in anything. I don't like them in cookies, other baked goods, you know, bagels, bread, whatever. Get raisins out of my food. Not a fan of raisins, honestly. I know this is gonna upset some of you, but oatmeal raisin, it belongs in the F tier. I will fight you guys all day about this, but sorry, it, that's where it belongs. Up next, we have Snickerdoodle. Which is a pretty unique cookie, but in my opinion, it's more fun to say than it is to eat. It's not bad, it doesn't taste bad, um, but honestly, it, it's just really nothing special. It's kind of straightforward, um, kind of plain. It has a unique flavor for sure, but the flavor that's there is it's just not the best. So Snickerdoodle, gonna find itself in the C tier alongside Sugar Cookie. 
Up next, we have fortune cookies. Now, these are pretty different from all the other cookies on this list, but I figured we got to throw fortune cookies on there as well. Um, fortune cookies, yeah, I'll be honest, not great. Um, pretty much the only time I have them is when I get them for free at a Chinese restaurant. Uh, fortune cookies, not really something I like for dessert. Usually just eat it just so I can have the fortune, honestly. Fortune cookies, going to be in the D tier. They're not bad, but compared to these other cookies, it's hard to compare. Up next, we have gingerbread cookies, which are another cookie that is pretty good. But this is one that I've had a very wide range of quality. So you can have really good gingerbread cookies, but sometimes you can have really bad gingerbread cookies as well. Um, I've had great experiences, had poor experiences. It really depends on who's making it and how good of a job that they do. So at its best, I would say gingerbread cookies find themselves in the A tier. But I have had a lot of gingerbread cookies, which would be C tier. So it's going to kind of average out and end up in the B tier. Up next, we have macaroons, which I absolutely love. I've literally never had macaroons until probably two years ago. It was the first time I ever had them. And I can't believe it took me so long because these things are so good. And they come in so many different flavors as well. It's so much fun trying, you know, the different varieties. Uh, but macaroons, honestly, super solid. I, I really love them a lot. And they're going to find themselves up in the S tier as well. Well, that's my list. Let me know your guys' thoughts, and I hope you enjoy.